Cultivation News, a 2019 study from Critical Reviews in Biotechnology, called a breakthrough in artificial cultivation of Chinese cordyceps on a large scale and its impact on science, the economy, and industry, authored by Zhao Li et Alia. Orpheo cordyceps sinensis, or Yartsa Goomba, or Dong Chang Shi Kao, is often called the most valuable mushroom on the planet. Although the fungus O. sinensis can grow on artificial substrates, and the ghost moth has been successfully reared, the large-scale artificial cultivation of Ophiocordyceps sinensis has only recently been accomplished after several decades of efforts and attempts. But are they as potent as the wild-crafted variety? The study states that there was no difference in the chemical components detected between the cultivated and natural cordyceps. However, the artificial cultivation system can be controlled to avoid heavy metal contamination and results in higher quality products. The success of the artificial cultivation of the Ophiocordyceps is clearly a milestone and provides the possibility for research on the in-depth mechanisms of the interaction between the fungus and the host insects and their adaptation to harsh habitats. This cultivation will not only result in a large industry to alleviate the pressure of human demand, but also protect the limited natural resources for sustainable utilization. This new tech has many implications on the locals who depend on O. sinensis as a natural resource. Wildcrafting cordyceps used to make up 26% of the Tibetan Plateau's GDP. However, it is being over-harvested. And with climate change raising the ambient temperature 1 degree Celsius, the temperature rise is already affecting the economy. The new cultivation tech has a major downside. It takes 500 days to grow a mature fruit body in the lab. For a more in-depth look at the cultural implication of this tech, check out my documentary film, Suklal's Hunt. The link is in the notes. We'll be keeping track on this issue, so stay tuned for updates.